If you're about to share a document with others, you may want to use the Document Inspector to just check if there's any personal private information in the document before you send it out. With this document open, I'm going to click on File in the ribbon. And then I'm going to ask for Check for Issues. The Check for Issues button is under the Info group. If I check for issues, I can inspect the document. This will check if there's any comments, revisions, versions, any properties or personal information, any headers or footers or watermarks, or any hidden text or invisible content. So I'll click the Inspect button. The only thing it's found in this document is I do have document properties and personal information. So I may wish to remove all this information by hitting the Remove All button. And re-inspect the document. And inspect. And now I know I have no hidden text, invisible content, or any information that I wouldn't want to share with others. So I'll click Close. Also, before I share the file with somebody else, I may wish to mark the document as final. Under the File tab in the ribbon in the Info group and the Protect Document button is Mark as Final. This basically lets readers know the document is final and makes it read only. If I say OK, it will mark the document as final and save the document. And OK again. Here I can see this document has been marked as final to discourage editing. It won't stop editing, it'll simply discourage it. So when I click the Home tab, what I see here is an author has marked this document as final to discourage editing. I also see a little symbol here on my status bar, which means that this document has been marked as final. But you must understand that users can still edit the document if they wish to. They can just hit the Edit, edit Anyway button and that will take off the mark as final. So it's only to discourage. If you really want to protect your document and stop people from making changes, you should password protect it. If you click on File in the ribbon, you'll have the option Save As. And what you need to locate is the Tools button. Now depending on your version of Windows, this Tools button could appear in different places in the Save As window, but it will be there somewhere. My Tools button is near the Save button, so I'm going to click the Tools button and click General Options. What I can do here is I can put a password that they can't open the file unless they know the password, but what I really want to use is this option. They can open the file, but they can't make any changes to the file or modify the file unless they know the password. I'm going to type the password Pluto, all in lowercase, and click OK. I'll then re-enter the password to make sure I typed it correctly the first time, and OK. If I then proceed to save the document to my desktop, it'll have a password. To test the password, I'm going to click File, and I'm going to click Close. I'm then going to click File again, and from the Recent list, I'm going to open up my decorating file. Immediately it asks me for a password, and if I don't know the password, I can only open the file as read-only which stops me from being able to modify and change the file. If I type the password and I get it correctly entered, Pluto all in lowercase, I should be able to open the file. So if you really want to password protect your file, do it under File and Save As. The other thing you can do if you're the owner of a digital signature is you can attach a digital signature to the file. To attach a digital signature, you click on File in the ribbon. You then go to Info and Protect Document. And here's where you would add a digital signature. But you must have a digital signature to add it to the file.